a costume from the Phantom of the Opera, uh, designed by Maria Björnsson. Uh, this uh, particular skirt is a copy of what is used in the USA. I think I spent half a year in making. Uh, it, um, it was an ambitious project because I wanted it to be as close to the original as possible. So I spent a lot of time looking at pictures to get uh, the small details right and to try to get the shape right. Uh, this is the apron which is made of a silk uh, brocade. It has a bit of purple in it. It's not easy to see. Purple and gold but the main colour is red. And uh, there's a beaded belt. Uh, which is made of a lot of very large golden beads. Um, originally I had uh, a lot of smaller beads but it didn't look good. It looked very tiny. So I had to use big beads. Uh, these beads are attached between, you could call it brooches, which is made of uh, various earrings and appliques and uh, plastic uh, jewels. Uh, the same is used in the, the false bodies, which is here. Uh, on stage this skirt is put on top of an existing costume which is made of uh, red and green velvet. Uh, so uh, it's to... Um, uh, the heroine Christine, she's supposed to look like she's wearing a corseted bodice which is pain, uh, pointed in front like a collatus and that's what this false bodice is pretending uh, to be. They are crazy about tassels in the US costumes uh, both uh, on the apron which is here and also on the hem which has green tassels and red uh, stones, which is opposite of the apron, which has uh, green stones and red tassels, and of course lots of gold, but that goes without saying. Um, the hem also has uh, four rows of uh, golden ribbons, and it's pleated, so this is uh, actually three times as long as what you can see here before pleating it. It took uh, the whole floor in my tiny apartment. Uh, there's three of these hanging tabs, which you can see from this angle. There's a lot of uh, sparkle in them. Uh, various uh, sequins, false jewels, uh, sort of um, I don't know what to call this uh, sequin fabric, almost. Um, or along the edge was originally earrings which uh, it had neutral stones in the middle which was then painted um, red and green with uh, nail polish. The design on the tabs is also quite particular for this costume. These round uh, shapes uh, with this uh, pointed um, Pointed points, wow, that's uh, good English. Uh, and uh, you also have these uh, various stones around the edge and uh, gold trim. Under here there's a big, big, big underskirt, which has 15 meters of uh, black netting. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's a lot of it to try and get this uh, bell shape this uh, costume needs. Um, and this trim here, there's two of them, uh, they're attached to a very stiff black ribbon which also helps stiffening the hem. Uh, and uh, it's also if the size needs to be adjusted uh, you can uh, the whole pleated area here, everything is 
decorated or was decorated before it was sewn to the skirt. So you can just split the seam here and remove it up or down. Um, the skirt is made of a quite lovely green chocard fabric with a rose pattern or flower pattern. Um, it's uh, not that thick but it's very solid in uh, in surface uh, and uh, on the hem I've used a sort of uh, Chinese brocade uh, which is red with a lot of gold you can't really see it here but it has a lot of gold in it and the same is repeated in in the back so here is the train which is made of this same um, golden and um, red brocade uh, and it's lined with this stripy fabric uh, which um, these waterfall drapes uh, which folds back and forth reveal the stripy fabric uh, which here is uh, green, red, mustard and blue uh, and it uh, goes up in this sort of uh, peplum As you can see, the skirt is way too short for me. Bloody hell. Uh, well, it kind of fits in the waist. That's because you can alter the size, but it's way too short. Uh, reason is everyone is shorter than me. So whoever buys it is probably shorter than me. So I haven't made this my size. God, it's fluffy. Uh, I made it uh, 10 centimeters or 5 inches shorter than what I would need myself. But it's nice to get documented that I did in fact wear this.